So in today's video, we are going to talk about personality and behavioral traits that lead to success in the USMLE journey. As you know, we have worked with thousands of applicants over the years. So students often ask us, you know, I know scores are important. I know year of graduation is important. USCE is important. What else? What am I missing? How can I make this journey a success? So in this video, we are going to talk about all these things. Not actually going to talk about uh, the year of graduation score. You know all about it. And I will have uh, a link to some videos that we have done on the importance of these factors. But today's video is about the behavioral traits, the personality traits, uh, the mindset that you need to achieve to be able to be successful in this journey. So I'll give you about 10 most important factors that we have found out based on our interaction with the IMGs and the Caribbean students over the past few years. First of all, this journey is very unique as you know. Yes, scores are important, but in the end, people from all walks of life come here and are successful in this journey. So everyone has a unique past. They have their own struggles and therefore their journey seems to be unique. Uh, it doesn't mean that you don't cannot have a weakness. Yes, everyone has a weakness. You can overcome it. But the point is comparing two profiles just may be meaningless. So yes, there are students who will match with 260s recent year of graduation, but that doesn't mean that people with low 200s multiple attempts don't, don't match. So every profile is different. Every personality is unique. You just need to figure out what your weaknesses are and what all do you need to do to overcome it. So that, that is the first point I want to mention. Uh, you know, the comparison that people tend to make person X match, therefore I can match or person X did not match and therefore I cannot match. Those comparisons uh, should be avoided. That brings me to the next important point, which is the dependence on social media and the information floating around on the internet. Now, internet, Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups, they all have very useful information. But there are two issues that first is the ability to siffle through all this information and to find the information that may be relevant to you. A lot of information may not be relevant to you when you hear about someone's profile you know, they, you may not know the entire history. You may not know the struggles they went through. So just go, don't go by, you know, the scores or anything else that is posted. The second thing is a lot of information may be outdated, may be old. So you need to be able to do your own analysis. And therefore, if in this journey you find that there is lack of uh, reliable information and that you need guidance, uh, you, you should take expert advice. The fourth point is related, which is, you know, you need to have a very healthy support system of friends, family, your peers who may be going through this exam, that will be required. And, and that's where we at USMLE Sarthi have a, have a group of our, a closed group. We form a closed group of our students. Uh, they share their challenges, their struggles, they interact with each other. So find a group where you can share these things, you can learn from others. Uh, that just makes the journey much easier. The fifth point is giving back to the community. Now you will go through these rotations, the exam prep, the interview, and on this trail you will find many people. In general, people will be very kind, they will be nice, they will try to help you. So try giving back to the community. You will see the difference. You will see how you can get uh, a lot more energized, how people will be willing to help you if you make this conscious effort to help others, to reach out and, and help your other friends who may
then it is a long journey a typical img takes about 2 years minimum from start to finish so uh, it will drain you financially it will drain you emotionally it will drain you mentally just be ready for it uh, there will be times that you will feel the ups and the downs and, and that's perfectly fine. As long as you have your motivation up, uh, you will be able to go through this journey successfully. Know that this is very common. The, the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows. Then there is another point that I want to raise. The sixth point, which is uh, a lot of IMGs believe wrongly in my opinion that without contacts you cannot match now this is the typical img definition of contacts which means my uncle and aunt or my spouse or someone needs to call the program director to get me into the you know the rank order list or to get me match that is not correct i mean we have seen it over the years majority of imgs will match a without contacts and b the definition of contacts is the professional contacts that you will nurture, you will develop uh, during the course of this journey. So if you don't have these professional contacts, you can definitely develop it as part of your rotations, as part of your research, as part of maybe going to the conferences. So reach out again to other professionals in the field and you will be able to develop these contacts, these professional contacts as well, and uh, hopefully they can help you during this journey. But don't think that without contacts, you cannot match. You certainly can. next point is related to your home country experience uh, many IMGs just undersell the home country experience now we all know the US clinical experience is very important but what happens is uh, you may have spectacular exemplary experience in your home country so whether it's the volume of patient whether it is working in a resource constraint environment whether it is the disease pathologies you have a rich experience what we find is when it comes to your eras application when it comes to the interview preparation you know how you articulate your responses many imgs just don't consider it worthwhile and this is where you are losing an opportunity uh, to highlight the experiences that you have the challenge is to take those experiences and to link it to make it relevant to what the program director or the program committee may be looking for. So remember home country experience is very valuable. You learn to sell it well. And the possibly the most important tip I can give you is be confident. We've had students who have matched with one or two interviews because they were confident in their abilities, in their skills, in the experiences that they've had. Remember, if you are not confident in your own skills, in your own abilities, the program director and the program committee or whosoever is on the other side of the table will not be. So unless you have that confidence, they will not be confident that you can do well. Confidence is the key. It goes without saying and every year I've seen so many applicants just fail because of the lack of confidence. So develop that confidence. You've been successful in your home countries. You've gone through uh, possibly a more rigorous system. And here the match rate is 53% more or less for IMGs, which means uh, one out of every two applicants can possibly match. So have that confidence that you can do well and you will find it much easier. Last but not the least, don't ever hesitate to call for help. Even if there is a remote possibility that you know someone can help you, knock on the doors. People in general are very nice, generous, but unless you ask for help, no one can help you. 
so take this initiative and ask people for help that was all that we had the top 10 tips for changing your behavior your mindset the personality which can complement the other things you have you know possibly the scores the year of graduation the other quantifiable factors but if you can make these changes match is not that far you can certainly match thank you and all the best in your usmle journey